Grillenheimer, thanks, and welcome back. Uh, the continuing saga of Gamers for Christ Christian videos mixing the word with games of all ages, uh, except for whatever's new. Um, anyway, let's keep going. We're, we're still in John, Book of John. Uh, wow, Grillenheimer, you're using the gospel. Yeah, I'm not in Romans or Corinthians or anything else like that. Um, but this is actually concerning forgiveness. This is shortly after the Last Supper, or right after the Last Supper, I believe, um, and before Judas goes and do, does what he's going to do. Now, according, this is, I don't want to get too mixed up in details here, but according to the, to the thing, the devil's already planted the seed in Judas already for him to eventually rat out Christ for the most part. Um, bad terminology. Sorry. Sorry, Splinter. Um, this is all about the foot washing episode here. Thus, the foot from Teenage Mutant, to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it's about the only thing I could really connect this with. But anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, now, before the Feast of Passover, Jesus, knowing that his hour had come, yeah, he did, he should depart out of this world back to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. And during supper, the devil had already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, that he had come forth from God and was going to go back to God, rose from supper and laid aside his garments, and taking a towel, he girded himself about. Okay, this, let me try to explain this. It's just Christ and his apostles. They just had supper. They'd come in there walking around. Well, where are they? The Middle East. Uh, not a whole lot of rain over there, is there? I don't think so. Not, not from what we gather. From, I mean, there can be rain. I'm not saying it doesn't rain. Uh, we have droughts here, too, where I'm at. Uh, maybe not at the moment. But the point is, is that it was a tradition for when you come in, you take off your sandals, and the servant, whoever is the servant there, is supposed to wash your feet. Well, Christ, realizing there is no servant here, he takes his garments off, whatever he has. He probably has a robe and an undershirt and maybe a loincloth or something. I mean, there's the, I mean, it's so warm, and on that side of the, especially around the equator, it's warm. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, you want to have loose clothes, but enough clothes to keep it protected from the elements, from the wind, from blowing dust, and everything else that, you know, you, and you want to be clean often as well. Well, he, he rose from the supper and realized there's nobody here to wash our feet. So, uh, from what we can gather from what's written, he uh, went ahead and did it himself. He took off his garments. He's pretty much stark nude as far as we can tell. And then he takes the towel and girds himself guards himself? What do you mean? Loins. He wraps it around his middle section to cover himself at that moment. Well, he's, let, let's keep going. Let's keep reading. This, this is a very interesting text here. Uh, then he poured water on, into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel with which he was guarded. Uh, ooh. But that was their tradition. That was what they did back then. Uh, and so he came to Simon Peter and said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I do, you do not realize now, but you shall understand hereafter or later. Peter said to him, Never shall you wash my feet. And Jesus answered, I do not wash you. You... If, if, excuse me, if I do not wash you, you have no part of me. And Simon said to him, Lord, not my feet only then, but also my hands and, and my head. And Jesus replied and said to him, He who has bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean, and you are clean, but not all of you. Now, some people... Um, take this statement as being 
um, oh, kind of one of sin. You're saved, you're clean, but you're not completely clean because you're still living in a sinful world, uh, which is also true. So therefore, the feet need to be washed. You're still not completely clean. Uh, some people say, oh, well, this is because he's actually talking of Judas. They're not all clean because Judas is going to be, tr be the traitor and, 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 uh, and tell the Gentiles or the guards where he is. Um, so some people, people take that both ways. Uh, but let's keep going. For he knew the one who was betraying him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. Okay, so that really explains it there. So the first part is true about the sin. And then he says, not all of you are clean. Uh, and so when he had washed their feet and taken his garments and reclined at the table again. So he put on his garments. He, he put his robe back, his robes back on. Do you know what I have done to you? So he washed all 13 of their feet. Uh, you call me teacher and Lord and you are right for so I am. If then the Lord and the teacher washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I gave you an example that you should also do as I did to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a slave is not greater than his master, neither is one who is, who is sent greater than the one who sent him. So he's talking about equality to some extent here. Also, if you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I do not speak of all of you, but I know the ones I have chosen. But it is that the scripture may be fulfilled. Who eats my bread has lifted up his heel. Wait, I think I said. He who eats my bread has lifted up his heel against me. There we go. 19. From now on, I'm telling you before it comes to pass, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who receives whoever, whoever, whomever, I'm Southern, I can't help it. Um, truly, truly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I send, receives me. And he who receives me, receives him who sent me. Um, and I'm just going to stop there from 13, 1 through 20. Um, now let's get back to my notes real quick. Kind of sum this up a little bit. Now, and I've already talked about that. There was no servant there to dust and clean their feet. You know? And so Jesus took it upon himself to do this humiliating task. Uh, every time... He filled the basin with water. He washed their feet. He took the towel from his loins, pretty much exposing himself and drying off their feet after every one um, to clean their feet. Now, Simon Peter didn't want Jesus to wash his feet originally, but after he said, "You will have no, no you will no have part, you will no have." <laughs> oh, God. You will have no part of me if you if you don't allow me to do this. Um, well, then that then then that that's when. And the funny thing is, is they first say Simon Peter, and then my Bible says just Peter, and then it goes back to Simon Peter. Uh, it kind of uses his both names there because um, he's kind of acting a dual personality character a little bit, showing that hey, don't you do this? Yeah, I do want you to do it. Do all of me, but Christ is saying you're clean but not all of you. You're, you still have some sin in you. Let me wash that off. Dust your feet. What is he really doing? He's showing forgiveness uh, of all of them. And, he, and in turn, he's asking them, as I forgive y'all, y'all need to forgive each other. Because he knew Judas, what was Judas was going was, was gonna to do within that same day. He knew what was coming the whole time. Um... And this is a constant reminder, even after we have are cleansed from sin, we still walk in sin on this earth. That is the lesson here. Uh, a reminder to always pray and confess our sins to be cleansed again daily. 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 I don't do it enough. Um, 
a lot of Christians don't pray as much as we should. We need to always be praying. We always need to be in communion with Christ and the Lord. Um, and, you know, 12, what have I done to you? Well, Jesus is forgiving them of their walk in sin. Uh, and they need to do the same, forgive each other. Uh, they're pretty much that. I mean, that's really the gist of all this. It's him forgiving his apostles. Now, the big question is, is... Jesus forgiving Judas in advance for what Judas is going to do. For he still does love Judas. And somewhere in the Bible, it, it kind of explains what happens to him. Have a, I can't remember it off the... I'm not, my memory is terrible for my age. Uh, but I can't remember what exactly happens to Judas. That would be good homework for you to look up and then add in my comment section or something. Uh, but yeah... And because that's part of God's plan. Someone has in the 13 has to be a traitor. Someone has to betray Jesus. Uh, and, and that was Judas. Um, and it had to happen in order for Christ to die for our sins upon the cross, go back to his father three days, be resurrected, um, and that in, in the for us to be able to be saved through him. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, and that is the groundwork for, for my faith. Um, and has been f for a long time. And I hope it's yours too. It doesn't have to be, but um, if, if you're watching uh, and, and, and been listening to most of, most of my videos, I really appreciate that. Um, it's, I'm not talking to me. I'm preaching to myself pretty much every video yeah I need this as much as you do um, I mean we all have our faults uh, whether we're Christian non-Christian or whatever uh, you know and kind of like uh, one of our, our pastors that I've had you know said is that you know we're sinners <laughs> and God loves sinners he loves the lost he wants us back we're living in an imperfect world and we're sinners in an imperfect world, trying to reach out to imperfect people to help bring the love of God to them. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do here, sort of a gaming, missionary sort of video thing. Uh, just no matter how punny I can be with Christ washing the feet and the foot clan that, well, these are robots in, in, the, in, in the game. But, uh, but yeah, our, our, the, our main lesson here and i got to finish real quick, as we constantly live in sin, we must be vigilant in our walk with Christ and pray often, always asking for forgiveness of our daily sins. Uh, please pray. Um, I don't have time to pray with you right now, which I did in the first video. It felt awkward. Um, but pray. Please pray daily. Ask for forgiveness. Lift Christ up. Lift God up and have a great day.